Having shown you some options in Adobe Audition, I just want to show you that you do have some options even so in Premiere Pro. I've just expanded the audio of these multiple clips. These are just the sound of C, so there's nothing particularly fantastic about them. But I just want to show you the options that you have on a right-click basis. Now, if I right-click on a waveform, control-click on a Mac, right-click on a PC, I've got these options. We've looked at audio channels before where we can turn off channels, but I'm going to click the audio gain button and I come up with the dialog box. Now the one that comes up as default is adjust gain by so that I can just adjust the gain by however much I think it should go. If you click away you can actually get hot text so you can scrub that value and you'll notice that set gain is matching it above. So you can actually say right I want to increase it by 10.3 dB and when you do that and you click OK the waveform is going to be amplified or or it's going to be bigger you'll see down here it'll look a lot bigger as it's gone up by 10.3 dB so if I click OK that's the end result the problem with this approach is it's rather arbitrary you don't really know I'm going to control Z to undo that and right click again you don't really have a brilliance feedback except for what it says down here it says the peak amplitude is minus 16.3 so if I was to put 16.3 in here, then I would make sure that my peak, my maximum peak, is going to be at zero. So if I click hold at that, you'll see that it takes the maximum peak up to zero. But that's the same as doing the next option, which is normalizing. So I'm just going to control Z to undo that. What you can say about this particular one when it looks as a just gain is you can see how far your peak is down. It's minus 16.3. So you can change it by a proportion if you want to adjust the gain. It's not something that I use a great deal, I have to be honest, um, but it's an option that you have there. Its default value is zero, in other words, no change. You can, however, set gain to minus 2 dB or minus 3 dB, but that's going to be in proportion to what it is at the moment. Okay, so if I was to set gain to minus 3 dB, you might have thought it would take it up to its maximum figure and then take 3 off but actually it will be minus 3 dB from where it is. So if I take that to minus 3, in other words, 3 audible units down, and I click OK, it just shrinks the waveform a little bit, which isn't really what you often want to do. So I'm going to right-click, go to Audio Gain, and show you what you do want to play with often is these Normalize options. Now Normalize can be applied to one clip or multiple clips at the same time, and you need to understand the difference between the two of these, because these are the ones I will use more often. If I do normalize the maximum peak to zero, what I'm saying is look at the biggest peak inside this waveform and take it up to zero and amplify all the other peaks in proportion. So the waveform will look the same, just bigger. So if I click OK to that, you'll see that it takes it to as big as it can be. So it's gone up to zero and all the other peaks have amplified in proportion to that. So I'm going to control Z right click and go back to that option and you can see I can normalize all the peaks to zero usually people don't tend to normalize to zero they tend to normalize to minus one minus two just a little bit below so if I was to normalize to say minus two dB and click OK you'll see that that is what I was talking about earlier it's gone up to what would be a maximum of zero and then come down by two which is perhaps what we'd have thought the other option would have offered so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click a few clips, just to select a few clips in my timeline. Okay, so I've now got a few clips selected and I'm going to right click them and do the same option, audio gain, and normalize maximum peak to. Now this is a difference between these two. It says normalize the maximum peak. So it's going to look at all of these waveforms here and it's going to look for the largest peak of all of them which is this one here I guess and then it's going to amplify that one up to zero and all the other ones proportionally such that the relationship between each of these waveforms is maintained so this one's especially quiet this one's loud the relationship will be the same they will just be amplified proportionally so if I click OK you'll see that that one indeed has gone up and this one's quite loud but the, the quiet one is still quiet in proportion to or in relation to the other one that was louder. If I control Z to undo that and right click again, go to audio gain. The last option is this one, normalize all peaks to. 
Now this is going to look at all of the peaks in each of the clips, even the smaller ones. So this one's got this maximum peak here, and it will take that peak up to zero and the rest of the wave proportionally, as well as this one up to zero and the rest of its wave proportionally. So in other words, all of these peaks, all of these waveforms will be amplified so that its highest peak is at zero or whatever you set it at. So all of them will be amplified and the relationship between them will not be maintained. Now this might well be what you want. You might want them all to be roughly the same volume all the way through, in which case this is the perfect example or the perfect answer to that. However, if you want to maintain that relationship, really you want to go to normalize maximum peak 2. Anyway, I'm going to normalize all peaks just to demonstrate it. I click OK and you'll see even the quiet waveform has been amplified significantly. And in fact, it looks wrong in comparison to this one. But the reason that this one isn't greater is because it had a very high peak already. And that high peak proportionally has gone up this far, whereas this had extremely low peaks. And the distance between the highest peak and the lowest peak was far less than the distance between the highest peak and the lowest peak in this one. So that's how you can use the right click options. Right click and then go to audio gain to be able to set gain to, adjust gain by, and also play with the normalize options, which are the ones I mainly play with. However, just a note on adjust gain or on gain in general, gain happens before volume. Okay, so before you play with volume, you play with gain, and then you move the volume accordingly. They don't actually work in exactly the same way. It's a bit technical to explain, but they don't actually amplify in exactly the same way. So although it looks like you're amplifying or just increasing the volume of this, you're actually doing something slightly different when you play with gain. So you work out your gain, you get your gain of your clips sorted out before you then change the volume. Notice that this yellow bar, the volume level, has not actually been changed at all, and yet the individual clips have been amplified. Okay, so these are the options that you've got. It is worth getting in there and sorting them out before you then play with volume. And of course, you can always then animate your audio mixer later on if you feel that the relationships aren't quite right and you need to turn up and turn down individual clips. Or alternatively, of course, just going to click OK here. Or alternatively, you can select an individual clip and play with its own individual volume level after the event. OK, because if I let go of that, you'll notice that the clip itself has not changed, whereas when we were playing with gain and normalizing, the actual volume or the amplitude or the gain of the actual clip was increased whereas individually clip by clip or if you like track as a whole you can actually play with the whole track if you like and amplify it and play with it accordingly so these are just some of the options you have in Adobe Premiere Pro for playing with audio obviously there's always more to learn